all right everybody today we're getting straight to the chaos we are about to crash our enemies raid so a bit of context here we actually have a bit of history with both of the clans involved in this raid the raiders and the tower base they are actually the clan that we attempted to revenge raid on day six of this playthrough but we weren't very successful because they just stayed inside and repaired their base the entire raid now as for the defending clan, I only just met one of their players yesterday while I was out farming. He attacked me out of nowhere and then ended up running away once I got into low health. I did run into him again this morning and this time I made sure that he didn't get away. Here is a quick clip of our fight from this morning. Now as for the history between these two clans and why they're enemies, that I don't have that much information on. I do know that both of these clans live very close to one another so I think that automatically created some tension between them. So yeah, we're all definitely not on any friendly terms with one another so that alone should make this an exciting raid for all of us. Alright, so we're going to station our horse here so it doesn't get in the way while we're fighting. And in case we get some loot, we can also use it to store some of it. Now, as someone who has fought both clans, if I had to make any bets, I would say the raiders have the upper hand and most likely the defending clan is bound to lose this raid. As of right now, the raiders who go by Shadow Company, they have 4 players online and the defending clan who goes by 20 is 20. They have 3 players, so it is a fairly even raid in terms of numbers. Like I said before, we're going to be fighting both clans, but I think primarily I'm going to focus on going after the raiders just because I do have a bit more history with them and our revenge is still unresolved from when one of them attempted to raid us 12 months ago. I know we've been waiting for quite a while now and we're pretty eager to just jump in there and fight but we really need to be patient. We want to attack at the perfect time when the raiders have come down from their tower and they're loaded with their explosives. The raiders do have a pretty nice setup over there. I'm honestly surprised the defenders haven't shown up to try and blow it up and disrupt the raid. Even if they gotta come naked and just bring 5 bombs at a time, that's still better than just sitting in your base waiting. Alright, we're gonna go down and see what the situation is like down here. Maybe there's some fighting going on already. Oh, that's one of the defenders. Coming after us now. Well, that was unfortunate. Somehow I got glitched to the tree and couldn't move. That's a first for me. Alright, we're gonna try and climb up to their base and assess the damage so far. So, they have been firing the trap for about 30 minutes now and I still don't see much of an opening. They do have one guy up here so I'm sure if anything breaks he can just easily rebuild. I'm not sure what the raider strategy is, but they're gonna need to come down here eventually because the trap doesn't seem to be doing much. So check it out, looks like they're finally coming down. We're not gonna attack them just yet because we don't want them running back to their pyramid. We're just gonna take cover and see where they go. They're coming this way, let's hide behind this tree. Alright, there they go. Now is our time. Let's go after them. Actually, it looks like he's just going back to base for some reason. Maybe he's picking up some more explosives. They might have run out by now. Yeah, he went back to base. He's definitely picking something up. So we're going to wait for him out here and try to intercept them on his way back. Well, I completely missed their exit. They went out through a different door and it's actually two of them now. They got to be up to something. They're over there now in that tiny little tree base. Well, that pretty much explains everything in the last 5 minutes. They're summoning a god to completely obliterate this base. We gotta move, it's go time. I'm not sure this clan is capable of defending this god attack. Yeah, they're summoning it comfortably from in here. There's no way to take him out unless we have explosives. Here they come. Yeah. 
it is about to get dangerously laggy in a few seconds. We gotta be careful. That's a third clan. They're separate from the ones we're fighting. All right, there it is. This is gonna be so epic. We got front row seats. What just happened? There's no way they took it out just yet. It's supposed to last 10 minutes now. We didn't see any arrows being fired. Well, whatever just happened, that is some serious bad luck. It was over before it even got started. There he is. He's out. Let's go after him. Two of them up here. Phantom hits and that cripple is so deadly. all three of them we gotta lose them this fight is guaranteed death if we take it yeah with this lag it's just really not worth the risk so we're just gonna wait our time and attack when they least expect it all right now is our perfect chance i waited a bit and just heard some explosives go off i think they just started raiding in let's see if we can catch him off guard Well, that couldn't have gone any better for us. Managed to take them all down and live to fight another battle. It's crazy how close those guys were to getting in. We might have just saved that clan from getting wiped. Alright, we're gonna go stash this loot and then we'll be back for some more action. By the way, I actually figured out what happened with the god summoning. So it turns out that the guy that was operating the avatar, he mistakenly pressed the letter C, which he didn't know actually canceled the avatar. That's one truly painful mistake. All right, we're back and ready for more. Let's see what's going on here. So I hear arrows and bombs, and it looks like we got a guy across from here just shooting. This clan still hasn't patched up this hole for some reason, and they've had more than enough time. I mean, there's literally one of them here, but he's just running around naked. I think we'll go surprise the archer and take him out. Alright, you guys ready? This is gonna spook him so bad. There we go. All thanks to the poison. Man, honestly, it's like I'm defending my own base at this point. I need to start charging this clan for the raid defense. I don't think I've seen them defend once. They've just been running around naked. 
All right, that is the third one of the day. I think we're doing pretty decent for this counter raid. Hopefully they haven't given up on this raid just yet. A little more PvP would be nice. Check it out, looks like after all this time, they finally sealed the giant hole in their base. So the action seems to have died down a bit, so I think I'll just wait out here and see if they come down for another attempt. I'll keep you guys updated. Alright, it's been quite some time, but I finally heard some explosives go off. We're gonna go check it out. Yep, they're back for more. We got two of them now. First one down, now let's get the second one. If he goes in the water, there won't be much we'll be able to do. Sadly, I don't have a weapon for water combat. Yep, saved by the water. He is getting really close to our underwater stash. He might actually see it. We're gonna need to let him get away, cause if he sees it, it'll be super easy for him to blow it up and get his stuff back. It's a bit inconvenient, but we're gonna need to move our stash because there's a really high chance that he saw it. It's just always better to be safe than sorry. So it's quiet down once again on all fronts, and I'm just waiting out here for even the slightest sound of battle. If I hear anything, I'll be sure to let you guys know. Alrighty guys, so I think this raid is pretty much over now. Not sure how long it's been, but there hasn't been any movement out here in quite some time. I noticed that the players from the other clan have started to log out. This base has also been fully patched up, so yeah, I think it's safe to say that this raid is officially over. Good fights to everyone involved in today's raid, that was an absolute blast and if you made it this far into the video and had just as much fun as I did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel cause we got more solo adventures on the way.